Alright, Shalom Akim. I like to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Basham Yahushai, Basham Rahash, like the double and apostles, and elders of great mills to the rule well, and peace and salutation to the Akim around the world that pushes you to sincerity. It's on the road through the quick scriptures. Uh, I'll make it too long. <laughs> Right, there's um, Ecclesiasticus, the book of Sirach 1 verse 1, right? They say, All wisdom cometh from the Lord and is with him forever. It's very and truly the wisdom that we have. You know, just like the brothers that say, Yo, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rachakwadash. You understand? Which is the Most High True Son, right? Through the Holy Spirit. God, the Holy Spirit is what is what the Mosa is used to actually to keep us in this light, you know, to give us the wisdom that we have. God, all that spirit, just like David, just like David is saying Psalms, right? That's what Psalms 51 11 they say, Cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit, take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Because that's exactly what he did do to Saul. You understand? He did take his spirit away from him. And he was from that point void of understanding. But, the script, but as you can see, the scriptures say, all wisdom coming from the Lord. Because really and truly, the Mo, it's from the Mosai, through his son, so he has ready get true wisdom and understanding. Not according to like the nonsense that is teaching in this world, but true wisdom. We even had a the Dyson or Joshua, Joshua 1 8. They say, um, This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. No, there's not one I'm looking for. It's a good one, but it's not one I'm looking for. Right, is this one I'm looking for? Deuteronomy 4 6. It say, Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations, which shall hear all these statutes and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. Correct and true, it is, it is true this, you know, the, the Mosai is used to actually bestow wisdom on us, you understand, through the Spirit. Which is not something that was given to everybody which is why brothers of the truth this had to be great flower was even found worthy to be able to obtain this wisdom all right just today first corinthians 2 verse 12 it say now we are received not the spirit of the world but the spirit which is of power that we might know the things that are freely given to us of power so this is this goes to be chosen the ones who was actually ordained to receive that wisdom, which has which if in truth long enough, majority of the people in this world don't they didn't obtain it. Right? They didn't obtain it. Right, I say which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teach it, but which the Holy Spirit teach it, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. It said, but the natural man receive not the things of the spirit of power, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. So this show how precious this wisdom is. That way, I always, try, I always I try to be as humble as possible. Even though I always say, you know, these things is be hard to deal with sometimes. Yes, guys, scriptures say that with, with much wisdom comes much grief. <laughs> So it doesn't always be easy to deal with. You know, some of you always had to pray, ask for mercy. I know, ask to be able to endure. And always try to be as humble as possible. Because sometimes wisdom could be a double-edged sword. Right? I think it's around this. Right, it's a nice one. So, um... Jeremiah 9 23 right they say thus saith the Lord let not the wise man glory in his wisdom correctly and truly this is not all wisdom 
the, the most I saw it fit, he could take it from us. So you're not supposed to glory in the wisdom that you have. Even the prophets back in the days, you know, some of them would have got infirmities to actually keep them humble because, you know, knowledge just puff it up. Right? It said, Thus said the Lord, let not the wise man glory in his wisdom, neither let the mighty man glory in his might. Already Any strength you have is what the most I give it. Dabs not strength, and that was because he was he was blessed with strength. Even Esau right now have strength, and that is because it was given to them. But Esau and themselves are not strong. You understand? It said, let not the rich man glory in his riches. But the scriptures know, is the most size make you rich or poor? It said, but let him that glory it, glory in this, that he understand it and know it me, that I am the Lord, which exercise loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth. For in these things I delight, saith the Lord. So really and truly, you always have to be appreciative of the wisdom that you have, the, the true knowledge of the scriptures. Because at any point in time, the most I could take it from you if, you, if you misuse it or you fall off. Well, that's how you'll fall off if we take it from you. You understand? Anyway, always so edifying to anybody that listen. You know, with that, I like to give all praises and on glory to Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai. Basham Racha Kodash, Alex Double and the Apostles, and elders of Great Mill, so that rule well, and peace and salutation to the Akim around the world that pushes you to sincerity. This is your Abba from Intrudent Camp saying Shalom.